Let's talk health now. In the first phase of the maternity and children's block at the Komfuanochi Teaching Hospital is scheduled for completion in May 2024. Work on the 507-bed capacity project started in February 2021 following the demolition of a 44-year-old building over structural integrity issues. Health Minister Kwekwa Ajman Meno is excited at the progress and quality of work done as contractors are sure of meeting deadlines. Ohiming Teria now reports. The 45-year-old maternity block project started by the Echampon regime remained uncompleted despite several attempts by successive governments. The decision by the MPP government to construct a new maternity and children's ward following several technical, architectural and structural tests on the old building suggested a structural integrity could not be guaranteed. Weak foundations Rusty iron rods, poor quality of concrete beams, excessive corrosion of reinforcing steels and others raise serious concerns. The Ministry of Health awarded an engineering, procurement and construction contract to Brazilian company contractor for construction of the new block. Work on the new project started in February last year as the old block was demolished. The five-story building to be equipped with modern theaters, pediatric neurology, hematology, cardio and respiratory wards will provide a one-stop modern care for mothers, newborns and children. We also have one theater room on the delivery floor to, uh, to ensure that uh, in case of emergency you don't have to move anybody to another floor. And we have two minor theaters also on the ground floor. So making it a total of 10 theaters for this facility. It will contain pediatric infectious disease unit, mother and baby unit and pediatric renal unit. Project consultants, Akito Consult, are optimistic of meeting the 2024 deadline. Nana Abu Bonsra is the lead consultant. The original idea was to rehabilitate uh, that uh, 19 something something building. But we found that structurally it was not capable of I mean, completing it. We have given ourselves a dead trap. Right, okay. So when the idea came that let's use the same quantum of money to do a new thing, we now ending up, in fact, the original thing we were expecting about 750 beds, but now we on the phase one, we are doing about 500 beds. And then there's a phase two, which is going to be another tower block on top of the OPD, which will match with this. It's 24 May, we are sure of the completion. Health Minister Kweku Ajemai Menu, during a visit to the project site, expressed satisfaction on progress. He says the relocation of a nearby basic school will give more space for the construction of an ambulance bay. This is a project that couldn't have failed us. It's right on the heart of the president, and I've taken it upon myself to deliver. And so the president keeps on asking about how far. And that is one of the reasons why I decided to come and see it myself. I'm so excited about work so far done. It gives me a lot of hope and confidence that this project will finish within the contract duration period. And I'm happy with the work so far. There are a few additions that we may have to do. I've asked them to cost for us to see the cost implications of what you want to do. A basement for a car park, linking the new block to the old facilities so that um, those who are assessing might not have a chance to go out into a public place in the traffic to come back. We are going to relocate the schools here. We've got approval for that so that we can build and fit a proper ambulance service place to help the facility. From Kumasi, for Joy News, 